Hey y'all, so I made this video not long after Juice World passed and I'm just going to talk about this crisis that we're going through now. We're losing so many young people to drugs and the lifestyle of drugs and I just, it, it was really bothersome to me so I just had a discussion with my mom basically just discussing what is going wrong and we're just talking about upbringing and how that has a lot to do with how these young young kids become young men and women and how they are shaped and how they evolve not to say anything about these young people's upbringing we don't know how they were brought up a lot might have to do with their environment you don't know what circumstances will make people the way that they are it is not easy to get onto drugs it's not easy to come off them and it doesn't just happen one two three like that i understand that it is not that simple but this is just a general discussion about the youth in general and it's quite worrisome the direction that you know some of these lifestyle patterns are going in and yeah we're just having a general with emphasis on general general discussion not necessarily about any one person in particular but we're just talking in general about the upbringing of kids these days and you'll get to hear a little bit of my backstory as well so hope you enjoyed the video let's get right on into it what is up youtube what's cool what's really what's happening welcome back to another struggle food mukbang today we're a little bit healthier we've got some potatoes with a ox liver stew and it looks like that it is very good for this winter season and yeah gonna be delicious so anywho uh, it's featuring featuring my mama once again and we're gonna talk about unfortunately you know the, the trend that is happening these days with all these young rappers basically being of those or any kind of related issues now and that's what we're going to talk about oh i got my cucumbers here as well they are cut but you can't see it see just break it off like that need some veggies up in this time so yeah i got my mom on deck because this thing is really starting to bother me stay hydrated this thing is really starting to bother me. This kind of trend where these young people are getting all their inspiration. This is a spoon from Eats too. Spoon fork, very handy. All these young people are getting their inspiration from all these rappers. Not just inspiration, they're getting their how to live from these rappers. These are people that they've never met before. These are people that they don't know. And I find it, I find it just, oh, it, it's just, it's just terrible. It's just really, really sad. And how can we ensure that our kids or the kids of this generation coming up do not look at these rappers and now reality TV stars and all these and now also social media influencers people on Instagram people on Twitter people on YouTube how do we ensure that they don't look at these people solely for advice or solely for ways to live by how do we ensure that what are your thoughts um, it's how you raise the child mm -hmm. It's from the home, mm -hmm. you know. When the child starts growing, they are children and they are doing something wrong, you stop them. Or like this generation, the children will be doing things and the parents don't say anything. They watch them, they go to dangerous places, they are watching them. And the children, do, they do whatever they want to do. You start when they are very little, you can see a one year child saying no, no, no to their mother. Yeah, and bring the children close to you so that they learn from you what you do, you know. You, you do everything with the child. She knows that, yeah, this, this is what I'm supposed to do. And this is what I'm not supposed to do. But you let them free from childhood. No, they are going to grow up and be something else. You got and young kids over here talking about, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. <laughs> mm -hmm. You remember that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That went viral yeah. and everybody was like it's laughing. Funny, it's, it's funny, funny but I want to see what that child is like today. Mm -hmm. It's not the way. It starts with it being cute. That's how it starts because yeah. they don't just end up being monsters just anyhow. Yeah, I'm not saying. Not monsters, sad, but I'm just talking know. about in general. I'm not saying that any of these people popping pins, pills and stuff are monsters necessarily. I'm talking about in general. Like in general, we're talking about general upbringing here, where it starts. But you're talking about following the kid and being with the kid and showing a good example. The problem mm -hmm. obviously becomes when the parents aren't a good example or they're not around or they don't care. Mm -hmm. They do care, but maybe they are not around. You have to find a solution to it. But look, if, you, if you're not around, that means you don't care. That's just what that no, is. No, sometimes you're not around, but maybe you're working. You went to daycare. Mm -hmm. But still, you spend more time with me than daycare. 
It's from mm-hmm. rough time with me that crash. So I have to teach you how to be good, you know, by maybe if you are Christian, teaching them the way of the Lord, telling them stories and telling them that this is evil, this is this is good. That one is, it, it gets stuck to their heads and, and they don't do the wrong things that you, you, you don't expect them to do. You know? But then it's also about the, the circle of friends that they're in. And the circle. Outside the circle of friends that they have. But once you bring them up very in the house, they don't go out to learn other things. They know that mama will not like it. They know that papa will not like it. So when they go out, they are careful what they do here, you know. But when they have carefree life at home, they go out, they will still be carefree. Or they go and try things that their friends are doing. And that's when the, the bad thing starts. Because you have, for me, it was like, I didn't want to disappoint y'all. So it wasn't really like a whole scary situation. Like, oh, I'm scared of my parents. It's like, I love them so much. I don't want to disappoint them. Mm-hmm. You know, you could tell the disappointment. Like when you did something wrong, you could see it in their eyes. It was so sad to see. I was like, I am not going to be responsible for how mommy and daddy are feeling right now. Like that is bad because I can do something about that. So even though you know i was just a child carefree you know i i did i did i I lived as a kid you know back in my day we went out and about you know we built huts in the bushes we were you know proper like chasing each other running around you know buying sweets and candy and you know i don't know climbing trees and we we did kid stuff you know unfortunately this generation doesn't know about that there was no uh, mobile phones. Mm-hmm. So it helped. Mm-hmm. But this generation, they have their mobile phones. Mm-hmm. But teach them not to be on it all the time. Mm-hmm. At the point, you take it from them. When they're even bad, you take the phone from them. And uh, for them to concentrate on their studies, you give them time to play with their mobile. And at a certain time, you take it from them mm-hmm. so that they can concentrate on their studies. You know. But if they're on it all the time, they're talking to friends. What do they talk about? Sometimes I wonder, what are you talking about? To your friends the whole day why are you gossiping or what mm-hmm. you know it's not helping you know it's what it is not helping. they're talking about these celebrities it's not helping. that's it's what it helping. is they're literally talking about these celebrities it's like a vicious cycle it's all about these celebrities at the end of the day that's all they know to talk about and then they try and emulate what these people are doing my thing is this okay and it's very interesting so i grew up in the netherlands netherlands is very liberal and yeah i used to know people that have smoked weed had weed you know it was very normal high school people were doing these things you know smoking i had a choice i had a choice but then i'm also a very strong-willed person so for me if somebody were like that i'd be like my friend if you don't get that thing out of my face get out of here man get out of here that was me but not everybody is like that you know not everybody has that strong will and yeah exactly people want to belong but again that all goes back to the parents isn't it and the, the parents or whoever was taking care of you, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your guardian or whatever, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Your guardian. Um, about teachers, the child doesn't spend much time in the school. But if he's well behaved at home, when he goes to school too, he's well behaved. Mm-hmm. You know, because he, he, they, sometimes they blame the teachers, the teachers are not. You went there to learn. <laughs> History, English, geography, ethics is not part of it. Yeah. When you go to nursing or medicine, they go and do ethics. But the ethics is from the house. Yeah. You know? Hopefully. Whatever you do is from the house. Mm. Don't talk about people. You don't talk about people yourself. So your child will not talk about you. She will know that it's wrong to talk about anyone. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I mean, I feel very sad when I see children who are not listening to their parents down the street. They are doing so many bad things. They are spoiling things. Sometimes like you see them, this things that the government has made, they will spoil it. Yeah. I have a, an old friend who started taking pictures and sending it to the government. <laughs> They the, meant the government, mm-hmm. the council. This is what this one has. This is what has happened here. This is what has happened here. You know, they are frustrated by it. Yeah. Their time is not like that. Yeah, they don't even get it. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you see children playing without their mobiles, uh, it's very dangerous play that they play. This yeah. one, this one, this one, beat this one, this yeah. one, run after this one. I mean, hey, let us wake up and change the world. This our case because very soon. As we are going to, but the rest have a lot of monsters among you, hmm. and that's going to be good, going to be terrible. Because I'm looking around and I'm like, these are the future leaders, oh. presidents, hmm. astronauts. Some of them they will never be presidents, but they will trouble the president who is coming. We will need to pick one of them to be the president at some point. <laughs> one of them has to be, and that's why you come. You know, there, there comes a point where everybody is just as useless as the next person, and yeah. everything will start to crumble. Mm-hmm. 
No, so going back to the people in my class that were using weed and all these things, right? Basically, no, basically, I would look at them, right? Because the Netherlands is so liberal. I would look at them and I'd be like, you look kind of silly right now. You're in class, we're all trying to learn something. Stuff is mad difficult and you're high. You look, you're, it's kind of lame, dude. Like, for us over there, most of the time, it wasn't really something that was like, it wasn't really something that was like hyped up. Because it's so readily available, there was nothing cool about it, you know. It's like the kid that's not allowed to chew gum in the house. When they see gum, they're like, oh my god, that's gum, give us some gum, and like, they have some gum. But then the people who always have gum, they're like, it's just gum, <laughs> you know. It's so readily available that it loses its coolness. And in fact, in the Netherlands, when you are young and you start doing these things, you look kind of lame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was a choice though that I had. Mm -hmm. You have to make a choice, and you have to teach your children to make to a choice. But it was also because I had my other friends, right? My other friends who also thought it was lame, and that that my other friends that also thought it was lame, and that didn't have anything to do with it. You do kind of wonder what it would have been like if you didn't have those friends. Mm -hmm. Most people don't have those friends. That's where the problem comes in. Mm. Uh, they have bad friends. Mm. So all in all, the, you know, the upbringing needs to come from from both parents. Mm -hmm. But if about that listen to whatever you want to listen to but there's earbuds earbuds wait there's earphones there's headphones there's earplugs there's eh? there's earbuds whatever pods listen there's all this stuff you can put in your ear with all kinds of different shapes and different kind of uses bluetooth not bluetooth wired not wired over ear on ear in ear please i beg i do not want to hear this rubbish that you are listening to period the, the problem is that there's no consideration. That's another thing. As offensive as they can be. In fact, the other day I was walking through a tunnel and there were two kids and I could smell the weed. You could smell it. And they were just like, they were trying to be secretive. I was like, first of all, this is a tunnel that people are just passing through mm -hmm. the entire day. What are you trying to do? Is it just the allure and the, the excitement of doing something sneaky? I don't know. I'm afraid all these will lead to diminish workforce mm -hmm. because, yeah, they are not learning. They are just debuting whatever they mm -hmm. In any case, what happened to Juice World was very unfortunate and all these rappers that are all these rappers that are dying from overdose or drug related issues is it's very very sad. But I do think that we need to stop glorifying these things and you know bring it back to what the parents and the old folk and them have been saying for decades, which is say no to drugs. And it's not that easy when it comes from somebody who doesn't do these things. But I think we need to stop normalizing these things. I mean you can't just be out here making songs about drugs and it just being whatever. That that needs to stop. Especially when you realize that some of these people rapping and stuff about it, they don't even use drugs. So you're hyping it up and you're normalizing it and you're glorifying it, but that's not even your lifestyle. Like how fake is that? People are fa following a fake, a fake narrative that's been put out there for the sole purpose of drawing people to their music and possibly enticing them to do drugs. Now they never allude to that in their songs, obviously. 
but yeah that is what is happening so when we see that that's the effect of some of these rap songs and these rappers always talking about drugs and and guns and all these things and i think we need to take a different approach some censorship is definitely needed can't be having these type of role models and these type of songs out there period it is ruining society if that is where these kids are drawing their if that's where these kids are drawing their kind of um inspiration from if these are their role models then we need to change what they see it is what it is because not everybody has a stable household where they're being taught and that doesn't always have to be two parents it could be one parent it could be one caregiver guardian foster parent whoever adopted parent whatever whoever is looking after these kids it could be that it's not somebody that's able to deal with the kids effectively and so now we need to turn to what these kids are seeing because parents can't control this stuff anymore they got phones they need their phones you know the other day i saw a kid bleeping their phone in the bus to get in they need the phones the phones have everything on there right now so yeah we need to find different measures yeah we need to find different measures to ensure that when the kids do go online <sighs> that's why i like me some clean hip-hop and most of the time i turn to like Christian rappers for this because they're talking about truth they're talking about life and they're talking about real things that anybody from the age of whatever to whatever can relate to but then when you go to some of these mumble rappers and stuff like that you go to these mumble rappers and stuff like that you realize that they're just talking about girls they're talking about drinking they're talking about drugs and all these type of things and the problem is that most of these people they themselves that's not the life that they're leading most look at all these rappers most of them are married and have been for decades they have one person they'll slip up here and there which is not to be excused but the lifestyle that they're trying to portray in their music videos always girls around this and that, and that it's not always the case they're staying faithful to their wives as they should you know and so that is fake that you know they have a different girl every night and all the rest of it i ain't safe don't do that but that's not true and the fact that they're doing loads of drugs all day every day is sometimes not true some of them have never touched drugs ever and a whole bunch of stuff probably apart from their riches the rest of it is all fake all i'm trying to say is live your own life go your own course because that's the only course you're standing right here this is your track this is your lane how are you gonna look at somebody else's lane and watch them run and come back to meet you and you're still standing there like oh i wish my life was like that oh zoom. oh i wish i could do these things but i can't zoom. oh i wish i had this i wish i had that my friend get out of here just live your life live your own life the however it is they also came from nothing and became something just live your own life and look at what you are doing and stay the course have the faith keep the hope and do what you know is right some of these kids they know what they're doing is not right they're just doing things for shock value you know <sighs> Anyway, I could go on and on. Just rest in peace to Juice World. I never used to listen to his music or anything like that. Sometimes it's sad because you only get to hear about these people after they've passed. And it's, it's just really, really sad. But I just made this video not to shame anybody that's struggling with addiction or anything like that. Definitely not. It's just, I'm trying to say, let's look at the youth in them and see what we can do to... We just need to shift gears in the way these kids are being brought up and all the rest of it. Like, it's really quite sad the way things are going at the moment and it's just time for a change and i just wanted to talk about how we can go about changing the narrative changing how we do things changing how these kids are brought up because <sighs> i don't know it's easier said than done i know but i just thought i'd come on here and talk about it because it's on my mind and it's bothersome very bothersome anyway make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right make sure you hit thumbs down as on to the subscribe button and hit the notification bell whilst you're at it i'll see you in the next one but in the meantime share this with everybody you know tap the like button as well if you like this video and uh, god bless mm -hmm.